Hi, I'm Adam Fans from Bays Mountain Park and Planetarium. I'm the Planetarium Director there, and we have an interesting little video for you today where we're going to be learning about an interesting celestial phenomenon where we're going to see the planet Venus travel in front of the open star cluster known as the Pleiades. On April 3rd of this year, 2020, we're going to be seeing the planet Venus travel in front of the star cluster, the Pleiades. Now, this happens every year, but most years it's not very good. But about every eight years, it is good. This year, it's going to be great. We are going to see the planet Venus go smack through the middle of the star cluster, the Pleiades. So let's learn about the cast of characters of this event. First, the planet Venus. It is a planet like the Earth, but it's the second planet away from the Sun. The Earth is the third. Now this particular planet has some differences in that its thick white clouds are not water vapor clouds like the Earth, but they're made of carbon dioxide. And it's caused by all the volcanic activity on the surface of the planet. But there's so many clouds that they reflect a lot of light. Uh, so much so that the planet looks brilliant bright in our night sky right now. So look into our evening skies right after sunset, look towards the west. About halfway up you're going to see super bright planet Venus. You can't miss it. And so with that, um, we're going to be seeing this planet as it goes around the Sun and as we also go around the Sun look like it's traveling through the star cluster of the Pleiades. Now the Pleiades star cluster. It is an open star cluster. It's made of about 200 stars. But with just our unaided eyes we see about six or seven. Binoculars will show a few dozen stars. This Pleiades star cluster looks like a Little Dipper. It is not the Little Dipper though, but it is very small in the sky. It's very recognizable and is available to see without any equipment. You don't need binoculars or a telescope to see it. Though binoculars are probably the best way to really see the cluster well. And so I recommend a pair of binoculars if you happen to have them at home and look at the, the cluster of the Pleiades. In fact, I'd recommend you look now before the event occurs because in, as the days go by, you're going to be seeing the planet Venus get closer and closer to the star cluster. On April 3rd, it will be right in the middle. Now, of course, it's not going th literally through the Pleiades star cluster. The star cluster is about 430 light years away. What does that mean? Well, one light year, the distance light travels in one year, is about six trillion miles. That's a six with 12 zeros after it. Venus, though, is about five and a half light minutes away, meaning the light from, that's reflecting off of the planet Venus reaches us only in five and a half minutes. But the Pleiades star cluster light when it leaves those stars, we eventually see it 430 years later, the time of Galileo when he was first using a telescope onto the night sky. So kind of a historical context there. So look up into the night sky, and I would suggest any night that is clear right now, but especially say April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, where April 3rd is the key time where we see Venus travel in front of the middle of the Pleiades star cluster. Use a pair of binoculars if you happen to have them and to really see all of it together and if you're able to, to try to take a photograph. It's a lot of fun. Here is a photograph that was taken on March 28th of this year and you're going to see the stars in the background but we're also going to see in the foreground we're going to see the Moon and Venus uh, and so they look overexposed for this image. In the center we see the Moon down here, we see the planet Venus. And then up here, we see the Pleiades star cluster. And for some reference, you're going to see the face of Taurus the bull over here. What you're seeing now is a set of images from the computer program called Stellarium. It is a free program out there on the internet for all platforms, and it's a great tool for home use. So what we're seeing is a a series of images that start on April 1st to show the position of Venus and the star cluster, the Pleiades. Here we see the 2nd of April, the 3rd, 
the fourth, and the fifth. As you can see, Venus was traveling through and in front of the star cluster, the Pleiades. I want to thank you for your time, but really just get outside, get in your backyard. You don't have to have any special equipment. And look at this really interesting celestial phenomenon that's occurring on April 3rd.